Thanks, Ashley. Ashley showed us how we can visualize the increasing complexity of our systems, but how can we effectively monitor our services as they multiply and their dependencies constantly change? Datadog provides machine learning algorithms like anomaly detection and forecasts to look out for all the usual ways your systems can fail. These are great, but you yourself have to decide when to use them. How do you know what to monitor? How do you know what to look out for? Monitors you set up yourself reflect the problems that you've encountered in the past. But your systems can fail in so many different ways. Any one of which might happen very rarely, but collectively is what keeps your teams up at night. Collecting metrics, traces, and logs might help you figure out what happened after the problem has occurred. But how can you possibly monitor problems you've never even thought of? Now, there are many AI systems for operations out there, but they all require that you tell them um, where to look. They all require intensive setup. And finally, they require that you turn them off because you get inundated with false alarms. <laughs> so our challenge was to build a system that would scan your ever-changing environment without any configuration. We'll be looking out for the dragons for you. Only highlight real problems, right? So there's nothing worse than getting woken up at 3 a.m. by a robot. And finally, point you to any possible root causes. We don't want to just show you um, that something happened. We want to show you how you can possibly fix it. And so we built Watchdog. Watchdog will monitor all of your services and notify you of real problems. There's nothing to set up. And we use several machine learning techniques to ensure that Watchdog is never going to surface anything that someone on your team wouldn't care about. And it's constantly monitoring your fire hose of data. Let me show you a quick demo. So we see here that Watchdog found two things of note um, in our store web app service, as indicated by these binoculars. Um, and then below we see a story showing that the latency for your service has been going up. And that pink box highlights the, um, when, when exactly that occurred. So now if we go into the details panel, we see that increase in latency. And we also see below it that we've been spending a lot more time in Postgres than we used to. So now um, let's go to the service page. On the service page, we see that same increase in latency. And we also see where um, we've been spending more time in Postgres. We see that same watchdog story below. And then below that, we see that there was an increase in errors happening exactly at the same time. And this is happening in the, uh, the checkout endpoint of that service. So let's go into the details panel there. And here we see the stack trace that points to the actual cause that caused all the errors. So I just demoed for you um, a story about APM. Watchdog can also tell you stories about your infrastructure. So for instance, maybe your host has been misconfigured and it's not reporting any metrics whatsoever. Or maybe a disk is about to run out of space. Watchdog will notice if your memory usage has been drifting slightly upwards um, for a long time, pointing to a possible memory leak. Watchdog will even able be able to tell you when your cloud, provi cloud provider is experiencing network issues. Here we see that two different um, data centers in the US East have been having network issues just before 9 AM. So Watchdog has been vital for us for helping monitor our own systems. I'd like to introduce Joe Sadowski, engineering manager at Square, and an early beta user to how Watchdoc has been useful for them. Cool, Thank, thanks, Salman. Um, so at Square, we primarily use Datadog uh, to monitor Caviar, which is our food delivery business. Um, so those of you unfamiliar with Caviar, it basically works like this. Diners order food online. Uh, we tell the restaurant what to make. We dispatch a courier. Courier goes, picks up the food, brings it to you, and everybody has a great meal. Wait, there we go. <laughs> um, so the technology behind this is basically an iOS app, an Android app, and a web app for diners to place the order. Uh, couriers have an iOS or Android app that they use to get orders, get to the right restaurant, um, and get your food to you. Uh, and in the restaurant, we have a iPad that's running um, an iOS app. And then we have a whole bunch of internal tools that are um, basically helping us manage all of this. Um, 
Altogether, there's uh, 30 something services uh, and thousands and thousands of endpoints. Uh, as you can imagine, it's all pretty hard to monitor. Uh, there's a lot of moving pieces. Um, and that's why we're really excited about Watchdog, uh, because it's monitoring all of this in the background for us and letting us know when there's problems. Uh, so, for example, um, on Tuesday, June 16th at around 7.30 a.m., uh, our pager went off. And it showed us that one of our services, uh, the one that takes most of the orders from our diners, uh, was, was failing. Uh, here it's, uh, I think, a 1% error rate uh, on the overall service. Right, so first thing that we did, we popped up uh, Datadog, and the first thing we see is this bit about Watchdog at the, at the bottom showing us that, hey, there's this endpoint, it's the home controller index method, and that is totally crashing at like a 90 something percent error rate. Uh, probably an issue. So we click in, uh, and we sure enough, uh, Watchdog shows us that increased error rate, we're still getting traffic to the endpoint, uh, but then at the bottom, it's got this awesome call out of a stack trace uh, that's common across all of the, all of the errors. Uh, and here you can see that service region URL name is being passed as new space York. Uh, it's actually being passed into a Rails uh, like generator and it's not able to find the, the route. Uh, somebody had accidentally changed it from new dash York to new space York. The space was breaking it went into the database, fixed it, uh, and then everything is back to normal. Uh, so pretty cool, Watchdog noticed that there was a problem. Uh, it identified exactly where the problem was with the endpoint, uh, and it picked up the common stack trace, allowing us to know why it was broken and fix it quickly. Um, so to me, that's awesome. Uh, basically, Watchdog is giving us faster incident response, it's showing us where the problems are in our system that we wouldn't have otherwise seen, and it's showing us like where uh, other impacts uh, throughout the system. Uh, overall, it's pretty great to use, and it's allowing us to essentially deliver a better, uh, better level of service to our customers. Uh, and with that, I'm gonna hand it back to Haman. Thanks. Thanks so much, Joe. Um, we have a lot of, thanks so much, Joe. Um, to recap, Watchdog will monitor all of your ever-changing infrastructure for you and only point you to real issues. There's absolutely no configuration needed, it just works. And I'm extremely excited to announce that it's generally available today, starting with all of our APM customers. Let me turn it back to Alexi.